All right, welcome in everybody to another episode of the DNVR Rapids podcast. It's a special edition. It's an international edition. We are going across the Atlantic all the way to Copenhagen, and we are welcoming in the editor in chief of Three Point, the the premier Brondby coverage in Denmark. Nana, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Oh, we are hanging in. We're excited. We're excited. The, uh, everything we've been reading for a week, almost two weeks, has been um, getting us more and more excited every time we read something because it really seems like Andreas Maxu is is the pride of Copenhagen right now. Yeah, not really Copenhagen. Uh, be careful with that because oh. we, our rivals is called Copenhagen, but uh, sure. yes, we are located very close to Copenhagen. Okay, but, okay, okay. Yeah, good to know. I can't. I, I, I don't think I'm gonna bring your mood down today. I don't think so. Sure. Um, I mean, he just seems so beloved. Chance from the crowd. Um, he's worn the captain captain's armband. Um, sort of what has he meant to the club specifically um, in terms of, you know, fan connection and, and just the success of the club? Wow, where should I start? Um, <laughs> he's really one of those guys uh, that um, I think it's it's always more easy to, to call someone a legend when the time has passed. But there's no doubt that uh, Andreas Marxu is a legend in, uh, in Brunby. He uh, he actually played uh, football as a as a young kid in uh, mm-hmm. Brøndby and then moved to uh, to a different club where he uh, made his breakthrough uh, and then he went abroad and uh, came back home to uh, to Brøndby uh, in a kind of a difficult uh, time in the club. We had a we had a good run with a German coach, almost won the championship. It was a very uh, difficult time for us all because we were so close and we hadn't won the championship in 16 years um and we and we and we fucked it up in the end and then we had to build a new team um and max came home and um and he made the difference Mm -hmm. uh literally he made the difference uh so we start building a new team with a new coach, and um, it was not uh, a team with uh, as good players as uh, the the almost team, as I call them. Um, we had a little less money to spend, um, but Max came back and he changed everything in the in the uh, way they train. Uh, mm-hmm. I never met a player who's more dedicated to his training than uh, Max. Wow. He is the first one to came, come into the club and the last one to leave. I talked to many of the young players when he came uh, to Brumby and they were like, what the fuck is going on with this guy? Because he was in the gym all the time. <laughs> he but sounds he like uh, the, he sounds like our yeah. kind of guy right there. Yeah. But he took the young guys with him and, and they learned something. And yeah, uh, then we ended up winning the championship uh, and he was the biggest part of that he was the captain of that team Mm -hmm. uh finally after so many years um and that's amazing thank you for that max yeah that's amazing we um diego rubio was the leading goal scorer here the chilean international last season um tied the goal record and basically the way you described the work habits of maxu there was was how I would describe Diego Rubio as sort of the leader of the team, making sure people are taking care of their bodies, not just at the training facility, but also at home and during the downtime and off weeks and international breaks, et cetera. Um, It's exciting for me. I was reading that it seemed like he was ready for something because, you know, he's won a couple titles in Denmark um, that not just Maxu, but also like the fans and the club and everyone kind of felt like he was ready for a new challenge. Is that a good way to describe his, his jump over to the States? He was, and he has been for a long time Mm -hmm. and it has been close for him a couple of times to make the move, but something always went, uh, went wrong. And that has been um, something that we fans have been feeling sorry for him uh, Mm -hmm. because we know he, he wanted another adventure. Um, but uh, now is a good time for him. And when he came to, to Brumby, I think it was the plan. Maybe he should be in Denmark for one year and then go out again. He ended okay. up staying for, for a lot longer and we're happy about that. Uh, but uh, I'm, I'm so happy for him now that he gets uh, the adventure that, uh, that he deserves. Um, 
and I think it's a it's a good fit for him with the with the states and in, in Colorado. Yeah. So, um, the coach of the of the Rapids, the manager is Robin Fraser. He was an MLS Defender of the Year uh, before, so definitely a a defensive minded coach. Great for a center back to come in and learn from and and sort of develop under. And um, he, last year specifically, we saw probably three different defensive formations. Um, we had back five, back three, back four, you name it. It was, it was week to week, month to month. Uh, it was changing a lot. Uh, versatility wise, how do you see Max who's slotting in, whether it is the back four or the back three? Um, wh- wh- how do you see him filling in any of those spots? I would say he, can, he, he, he's, he's such a good defender. He can play every system, mm-hmm. but in Brumby, he had the most success in a three back or five back. Uh, where he plays the the, the central uh, of the of the three, um, he had a, a very very big success in that role, and that was in the season where we won the we won the championship. We played the uh, three five two, uh, and Maxi was like the the glue in the in the team. He's very very good in that role. Um, this season he had a little bit more difficulties. We changed to a four back. Um, but I think one of the reasons also why he struggled a little bit more is because, again, a new team being played together, but also he, he had an injury in the summer. And he actually, um, speaking about his uh, working ethics, he, uh, he came back uh, more than a month before uh, he was meant to come back. And I think that impacted him a little bit. But uh, this is a guy who wants to play <laughs> every, every game. So, uh, so he came back. But I think his best role is, uh, is in a three-pack or five-pack. But uh, he can play everything, this guy. He's so good. <laughs> That's exciting. Um, we already have had uh, our supporter group here uh centennial 38 they go behind the behind the the south goal banners flags all that and they've already started the challenge of learning the chant uh the he has his own chant i understand is that correct that's correct yes and we sing it very loudly and proudly <laughs> i love it man he really seems like so we have a title that we give out which is called mr rapid right the guy that we feel is is the most uh representative of the culture we want to see within the club. Right. Um, and it feels like if you had to pick a Mr. Brown to be that, uh, Max, you might be that, is that, is that a fair, fair, uh, title to hand out to him? Oh yes. Very fair. Uh, he's, and that's why he's also going to be missed so much, uh, mm-hmm. in Brumby because not only his, uh, his, um, his abilities as a player, but also all the things around him, uh, that he brings to the team. He's such a leader. Uh, both on the pitch, off the pitch, uh, everywhere. He, just his his appearance when he steps on the on the field. Um, yeah, he was he was Mr. Brent Buchan. <laughs> That's amazing. That's so good to hear. We're really excited to have him in Colorado. Um, do you guys play? Has he played in a lot of snow games? A lot of cold cold games? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Is it get so Brownby outdoor stadium? Yeah. Yeah. Oh man. And it can, it can, it can get cold. Yeah. Like, yeah. Last year they played in CONCACAF champions and had a zero degree kickoff, zero degree Fahrenheit kickoff. Um, I don't think we'll have any of those that cold this season, but it does sound like he's ready to step into, to the weather here. Yeah. That's no problem for him. He, he yeah. is experienced worse. <laughs> I would yeah. say. Um, obviously MLS is growing with, with a lot of money coming into their expanding clubs. And those are big fees and, and, you know, they are grabbing names from Europe and from South America and from, and from all over. Um, so it's turned into a really physical league, right? There's a lot of really, um, there's a lot of speed, a lot of size. Um, but that doesn't seem like a problem with Maxu being, you know, six foot three physically strong. He shouldn't have any problem stepping in physically and being able to defend against the top MLS attackers. I don't, I don't think that will be a problem for him at all. He's uh, yeah, he's he's well built and mm-hmm. he's uh, he knows how to how to use his body and he, it's very rare that he loses a, a duel one on one. Obviously, he's not the fastest guy on the pitch, um, right. which is also why I think he's he he was so well suited in a three pack because he could drop a little bit lower and he wouldn't get in. Uh, stretch out so much uh, to the sides, um, but uh, but he he's also a very clever player. He knows how to uh, position himself so he doesn't get into those um, 
into those uh, runs with a fast striker or, or, or something, um, or then he just uh, kicks the ball all the way to the moon if he needs yeah. to. He's a defender with a big sure. D. Love that. Love that. Um, good with the ball at his feet too, able to possess and kind of play out of the back comfortably. Yes, no problem. He was, uh, yeah, he uh, he played youth football in Brandby and then he made the move to FC Neuschland, which, which is a, a Danish club uh, very uh, well known for their um, for their work with the ball. So he has that education in him uh, oh, cool. as well. Um, so he, yeah, he's uh, he's secure with the ball, no problems there. He can pass. He can he can see uh, through the lines. He can, um, yeah. He's he's just an all right uh, all round good. Uh, central defender you, you really gotta and we, we fans have been for yeah two years now wondering mm -hmm. why is no one grabbing this guy because he's so good and obviously we were happy that he was staying in, in Brumpy for so long but really it's, it's been quite a puzzle to us that that no one grabbed him because he is he is really good that's amazing to hear well we are very happy that Max Hu has joined the Colorado Rapids. We're very happy that you were able to join us today and kind of help introduce the fans here to him. And uh, we hope that we do you proud with the support of him. And, uh, you know, we hope that uh, he comes in and makes that impact that you know we can make. Um, uh, is there anywhere you'd want to, uh, to direct people to find your work on Brown to Be? Yeah, sure. You can uh, find Three Point on Twitter or find our YouTube. Uh, we have uh, several uh, Maxu videos if anyone's uh, up for watching some chants or uh, interview. I don't know. Maybe YouTube can generate some subtitles or something because obviously it's in Danish. Right. But um, yeah, we, we have a lot, a lot of Maxu content. Uh, go and find it. And then I will uh, look forward to. Uh, watching a new MLS team because uh, where Maxi plays, I will follow. We love to hear that. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you guys. And we'll see you next time on the DMVR Rapid Show.